hello friends welcome to my channel cyber enthusiast today we are going to learn about a very important and interesting feature called WSL which enables uh, any people or person to run Linux commands on Windows operating system so before we proceed I would like to request you everyone to subscribe like and share my channel and also to put this notification bell on for my upcoming videos so let us start first of all let us learn what is WSL this is the theory part which we are covering right now So, what is WSL used for? The Windows subsystem for Linux is a feature of Windows 10 that enables you to run so, native Linux line command WSL tool for? directly on Windows alongside Windows your traditional Windows so, desktops and apps. Second is, is uh, WSL uh, same as Linux? WSL is an implementation of linux system calls on the windows anti-kernel which allows you to run linux executables unmodified like wine does for ubuntu bash on ubuntu on windows is just one application of wsl other other linux distros like uh, open source or fedora are either available or will soon be available Next question is, uh, is uh, WSL full Linux? You will get uh, all benefits uh, from WSL to like a full Linux kernel. Your projects uh, live inside a portable and controllable VSD, that is virtual hard drive. Is uh, WSL a virtual machine? Windows subsystem for Linux? WSL2 runs a special Microsoft Linux kernel on a lightweight virtual machine. It starts quickly than a normal virtual machines and let you use many Linux system calls, kernel modules and drivers that are available with WSL1. Is WSL safe? Bottom line, running sensitive application inside WSL is significantly less secure than running the equivalent application in a standalone Windows or Linux desktop system. So this this was the theoretical part. Thanks for watching this one uh, theory part. And now we are moving towards the practical side. So first of all, we have to go to control panel. We have to click programs and features. And after that, click on Turn Windows Features On or Off tab. Now we have to click uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux here. We uh, simply tick the box and press OK. Now we have to click Windows Subsystem for Linux here. We simply tick the box and press OK. It is searching the required files to make it operable it is searching the required files to make it operable Now it is applying the changes. Now it is applying the 
everything is. After applying the changes, it will ask you for restart. So we have what we have to do. We uh, we have to restart the machine. After applying the changes, it will ask you for restart. So we have what we have to do. Now what we have to do, we have to, do, we have to go now to Microsoft Store. Now what we and have here we have to search for an app called Kali. It's free, so we have to click here. It's free, so we have to click here. I have already installed this one, so that, that's why launch button is coming. I have already installed this one, so but you have to install for the first time. For the first time, you have to install. Okay, now you have to install. Close it. For the first time, you have to install. Now we have to go to. PowerShell and we have to run this one in as administrator privileges so it is appearing like this so what we have to do we have to run this command so what we have to do we have to run in powershell to enable wsl so i am copying this one to enable wsl so i am copying this one or we can type also And after typing this command, we have to enter. And after typing this command, we have to enter. So it is enabling WSL. So it is enabling WSL on our Windows machine. On our Windows machine. So it is installed. Now let us so check on command prompt. Now let us check. We have to type here Kali. We have to type here Kali. And hence it is coming like this.
now let us type sudo apt install and map so it will ask you the password now you can see it is installing press yes Now, let us type sudo apt install and map. So it will ask you the password. Now you can see it is installing. Yes.
so friends like this we can install the application and other required dependencies on our uh, windows machine having wsl feature so hope you have liked this video and uh, i would like to request uh, everyone especially students from bc mc background uh, to share this one with friends and your loved one uh, because it this feature is very helpful for them for their projects and work important work so thanks everyone for watching my video hope to see you soon bye take care